Hey there, how is it going? My name is Lindsay. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's grocery haul. You're going to have to excuse my crooked smile today. I've got some acne going on and I'm getting real puffy. But anyway, today I am going to share with you everything that I picked up for my family for this week. Uh, I actually did my grocery pickup yesterday, but there were a few items that were unavailable. So today I'm gonna go into a bigger Walmart a little bit further away, and I'm gonna look around and see if they have anything interesting worth sharing with you. And if they do, then I will do that. I'll share it with you. And then after that, I'm gonna go home, put everything up, show you what I got, show you our meal plan for the week. And yeah, I think that's it. All right, let's go in Walmart. Okay, I had to try and get somewhere a little quieter to show you these. This Walmart, the speakers are just blaring and it's really busy. But anyway, I've never seen these Mama's Biscuits before. They're sweet biscuits. Um, there is one more I didn't grab. I left it over in the freezer because it was just buttermilk. But they have pumpkin spice, blueberry lemon cream, which reminds me of McKinsey on uh, Carla McKinsey because she always likes blueberry stuff. Then this one is limoncello, and this one is confetti. It says made with real pumpkin, made with real blueberries, made with real lemon, made with real butter, not real confetti. Um, it comes with six biscuits, so I guess they're like full size. They're not little mini biscuits, and it is, I wanna say $4.98 a bag. Sound good. I wanna try the lemon ones still over here in the quiet space but another couple new things i saw well new to me i know that pillsbury always has um like seasonal cookies but i've never seen any for the fourth of july with the flag on it so i thought that was cool i'm definitely gonna get them because my son will love them and i know that the funfetti pancake mix is not new but i've never seen the frozen funfetti mini pancakes and if I didn't already have so many frozen pancakes at home already I would get these but maybe when we run out of those I'll come back and get this one these would be cool for a cookout it looks like it's a tin of ruffles in three different flavors it's limited edition they have flame and hot barbecue lime and jalapeno and flame and hot cheddar and sour cream okay so they're all spicy great for a barbecue. So I'm over here in the clothes now because I think I've seen all they really have to offer in the grocery. But I see this beautiful white, I think it would be like more of a midi skirt, probably in the middle of your calf is what it looks like to me because this is an extra small. Uh, it's from Time and True and it is $26.98. Has that beautiful like lace embroidery right there really cute I haven't seen these rompers yet by no boundaries I'm not sure if they come in more colors or not this blue is all they have here but it has this little tie waist and some little front pockets it looks really cute and comfortable it's you know that stretchy material that no boundaries usually does it looks like these are functioning buttons and it is $12.98 and then there's another dress behind it here in like the same kind of blue but it's a dress see with the ruffle bottom and it's like a palm print with the smocked bust and tie shoulders very cute it's also that soft material also $12.98 I'll link these below they have all these pinafore dresses this one is denim with the butterfly and then this white denim with the blue and brown floral pink denim with the white floral. I have both of these, I think it is, and I'm gonna try them on and I'm gonna post that either Thursday or Friday. It's actually gonna be a two-parter, so be there for that. And then these, how perfect for the 4th of July. Nineteen ninety-eight. looks like they came out with some more of their tie-dye pajama sets 
like they uh, started a couple years ago, I think it was. There's the capris, here's the shorts, except for this time the shirt is short sleeved and maybe kind of cropped. You see it in this pink and in this like gray and green. The pants are solid for this one. $11.98 for the shirt. $14.98 for the capris. And $11.98 for the shorts. Looks like they also come in this really cute palm print. I might have to get those for the summertime. Okay, so these are not necessarily my style, but I think that the youngins wear stuff like this, these chunky sneakers, and they have this beautiful tie-dye print on them. Now that is my style, and I've never seen these before. They're the Avia brand. Let's see if I can find a price tag. All right, so I had to find them online because for some reason, all of the little price parts of the tags are ripped off but they are $18.98. And it looks like they come in black and pink and just black too. I've been seeing these types of shoes around everywhere too. They're not picking up on this camera, let me see. They're a lot cuter. They have bows on the back, this pink floral. And I think they had like a light blue over there. I had to walk away, but um, I'll link it down below in the other colors. And these are $9.98, less than $10. These 24-piece dinnerware sets for kids are only $5. It comes with four bowls, four divided trays, four forks, and four spoons, and four cups. That is a lot for only $5, and they are all dishwasher and microwave safe and BPA-free. That's amazing. So they have this that's like a darker pink, light pink, darker purple, light purple, and then this one has different shades of green and blue. You really can't beat that. 24 pieces for five bucks. If you missed out on all the Stony Clover Lane stuff at Target, I mean, this isn't an exact dupe or anything, but it's still like a similar style and really cute. 17.88. And in this blue, In this little serving bowl. Oh, here's another cooler. But this one's a bit bigger, I think, because it's $19.88. Oh, it's like a lunch bag. Cute. Oh, and is this like a utensil box? Yeah, cutlery caddy. Cute. This is a cute little party brand. Let's see, packed party. A fabric speaker? Well, here you go, your one-stop shop for a very colorful party. Okay, so the like lunch bag one is not more expensive than this. This is just in the wrong spot. It's not $17.88, it's actually $19.88, but that's not that much more. I'd say that's worth it. It fits 24 cans, leak proof, Piva inner lining, ice with the cans, front zipper, accessory pocket, dual side pockets, removable and adjustable shoulder strap, and dual carry handles. That's pretty nice and cute. And they have these kids camping tents out too that are so cute. They're only $32. They have that dinosaur and the sheep over there. It says they're 44 inches tall. And they even have these little twin air beds for $12.88. That's a great deal. Oh, and some little lawn chairs to match the tent. For $17.97. Adorable. And all the sleeping bags for $22.97. Let's see, I think that one's a unicorn. No, they're all upside down. Let's see, there we go. And then I think this one's a shark. 
and that one's a dinosaur that matches the tint, but the rest are just colored, like orange, and then this like green and blue. And these cute little outdoor night lights for if they get scared of the dark and you're camping for $11.97. I'll try to link all this stuff below if I can find it online. And if you're having a 4th of July party and like to play this game, what is it called? Cornhole? I don't know. I don't play it. Um, they have this with the bags and the little light up thing for $20. That would be fun and festive. And then they also have some that are just white. So this is obviously not going to be great quality because it's only $6, but I think it's just the novelty of it. It's cute. So if you're a big Star Wars fan or you know someone who is, this would be really neat. The red one in the middle looks like a lightsaber on the handle. I might have to get my daughter one for her play makeup so she stops stealing all my brushes. I've never seen Lottie London at my normal Walmart. I'm surprised to see them here. They have all these press-on nails and really interesting and unique designs. Like this is like a tortoise shell with turquoise. Sorry, I don't know if you can see them that well. Really cute for $5.97. Then they also have these really cute nail stickers. This one has like rainbows, um, scrambled eggs or sunny side up eggs and cherries and lips and then this one that I thought was cute that I might pick up sometime for my daughter it has these little digital looking hearts and some like little game controllers her brothers turned her into a little gamer so I think she would love these all right I think I've found all the cool new interesting things I can find here so let me go buy these cookies and get out of here Okay, so I am out of that Walmart. I feel like I found some pretty good stuff. I mean, I guess you'll be the judge of that, but I feel like I did pretty good. So I'm glad I came here. Uh, I only ended up getting a rotisserie chicken and those little American flag cookies. So I still have to go to the Walmart by my house because the stuff I was gonna come here looking for, they didn't have it either. So hopefully the other Walmart does because I need it for lunch boxes for this week. Okay, so I'm going to go there, see if they have that, go home, show you what I got, and show you the meal plan. So I will be right back. So for this week's meal plan, for breakfast, I just have down eggs and toast and oatmeal and yogurt. We pretty much do the same breakfast rotations. There's no bother really for me writing that down. For lunches, we are going to try to stick with leftovers. We always have tuna or ham sandwiches. And then I have some pot stickers in the freezer we got from Costco the previous haul I did a month ago. So I need to try and cook some of those up and we'll just need to eat up. You'll see all the salad that we got in just a minute. So we need to do salad with that. Now for dinners, this is not an exact meal plan for me. It is more like a guideline and a reference point for whenever I am feeling stuck and don't know what to cook. I can just refer back to this and think, oh yeah, that's an option. I have things for that, so let me cook that. So for Monday, for instance, I have written down here spaghetti with garlic bread and veggies. Today is Monday, we will not be having that. Uh, I ended up having to go back into Walmart, as you know, and I just grabbed a rotisserie chicken. So we'll probably have spaghetti another night this week. So anyway, that's what I wrote down for this. And then Tuesday, I wrote down 15 bean soup with cornbread. Wednesday, I wrote down leftovers. Thursday, sheet pan chicken and veggies. Friday, stir fry steak and noodles. I got some really good looking stir fry type steak from Costco. If you haven't watched that, check it out. Usually those types of thin cut steaks don't turn out very well, but this one looked really good and it was pretty affordable. Saturday, we will likely go out. We usually go out at least once a week. 
And on Sunday, I have pulled pork sandwiches. I got some pork shoulder butts from Costco and I want to cook one in the crock pot. So I'll probably do that Sunday. And then snacks and treats, the same as breakfasts really. It's not really worth it for me to write it down because if we're feeling snacky, it's pretty easy for us to come in the kitchen and just find something. We don't have to worry about making sure we get through the snacks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we have some ice cream sandwiches, some hummus with veggies or the non-dippers, some apples and cheese, you know, we, just, we have all kinds of stuff. But anyway, that is an overview of this week's meal plan. So here is everything that I picked up for the week, including the pickup order and the stuff I went out and got today. That's actually all back here. It was just this pack of Juicy Juice, this pack of Nesquik chocolate milk, these American flag cookies and this rotisserie chicken that we will have for dinner. I got the Sargento balanced breaks that I get every week. I got a pack of fruit by the foot for some lunchbox snacks. I got some graham crackers because the kids have been asking for s'mores. So that would be fun to do one night or on the weekend for Mother's Day. Now I have said before that I don't get my meat at Walmart, that we get it at Costco. And that is true except for our sausages and our bacon. We do get that at Walmart because this brand, the right brand, I'm not sure if this is a regional thing, like if you can just get it locally, because that's how this Koneka sausage is. You can only get it in local areas and it is the best. So it is the only kind of sausage that we buy. I put it in 15 bean soup. You can grill it up, put it on a bun with some mustard and some sauerkraut cook it up with some shrimp. It's really versatile, really delicious. And I got two packs of that. And then I got one pack of this right brand bacon. It's more expensive than the other bacon you can get, but it is absolutely worth it. For produce, we just got one bag of mixed vegetables that's frozen. We have a lot in our deep freezer, so I didn't really need that much. I just usually like to pick up at least one every week to add to our stock. We got some bananas, got some white onions just for various things, a, pa a pack of romaine lettuce for sandwiches, and normally I order the big container of spring mix salad, but they were all out I guess and substituted me with three small containers of the spinach and spring mix. So hopefully we will be able to go through all that. Uh, maybe it's the same amount as the big one, but I just feel like that has to be more, but we need to eat more salad anyway. So that's fine. That'll make us do it. Here, we just got some sandwich bread and some slider buns. We like the sweet Hawaiian, and I'm gonna use these for the pulled pork that we're gonna have this weekend. I got two boxes of the Great Value garlic breadsticks. I prefer the Great Value over the other brands that are at Walmart. They're just tastier and they're a little bit cheaper, so that's just a bonus. I did not mean to get two boxes, but that's okay because I can just put one in the deep freezer and we'll just have it on backup. And of course, my Southern Butter Pecan Creamer that I get every single week. And I, I don't go through a whole bottle every week, every time, but if I don't go through the whole bottle, then I'm bound to run out halfway through the next week. And that's the worst thing, having to go back into Walmart whenever you've already been in there. So I like to pick one up every week anyways, just in case that happens. A box of shredded wheat cereal for my husband and a box of defrosted mini wheats for my daughter. Now for her, I will mix these and that's it. That's an overview of everything we got from Walmart for the week. So the total for everything that we got this week before taxes was $96.60 and after taxes, it was $106.01, which this is the best I've done in a little while, I feel like. It's the lowest I've spent and that's probably because we just went to Sam's Club and I've been doing bigger weekly hauls, so we didn't really need that much. And hopefully I won't have to run back into the store this week but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you decide to give it a thumbs up and stick around and subscribe. On my channel, I do weekly grocery hauls that I guess have turned into hauls and shop with me's. I enjoy doing it. I hope you enjoy seeing it. I enjoy watching them too. 
Um, I also do weekly try-on hauls and monthly Costco hauls. I know that that sounds like kind of a weird combination of things, but I am a stay-at-home mom and both of my kids are in school. So my life is grocery shopping and cleaning the house and cooking food and shopping for myself sometimes. You know, it is what it is. So that's what I do. That's what I enjoy filming about. So I hope that you enjoy seeing it. And if you do, I actually have two Walmart try on hauls coming later this week on Thursday and Friday. So if you're interested in that, stick around, hit subscribe. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.